At least 65 people died in tribal clashes in Sudan. Sudan has a long history of tribal violence and is in turmoil since the military took over in the coup. In October 2021, the coup appended the country's short-lived transition to democracy after nearly three decades of repressive rule under Omar al Bashi. He and his Islamist government were removed from power in the popular uprising in April 2019. In October 2021, Sudan's military seized power in a coup, arrested leading civilian politicians, including the Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdan, and declared a state of emergency as thousands of protesters flooded the streets of Khartoum in opposition. The death toll from days of tribal classes in the southern Sudanese state of Brunei has climbed to at least 65 people, according to a senior health official. Gamma Nasser al Said said that about 150 people have been injured in the fighting between the Hausa and Malta ethnic groups. The state's health minister said most of the dead were young men, he added. Said urged authorities in the capital of Khartoum to help airlift 15 seriously injured people because hospitals in Brunei didn't have the equipment and life saving medicine they needed. The fighting was sparked by the killing of a farmer earlier last week and continued until Saturday, according to the local government. Authorities deployed the military and paramilitary rapid support forces to bring stability to the region. They also imposed a nightly curfew and banned gatherings in the towns of Rosais and Damazin, where the clashes took place. Local media reported that thousands of people have fled their homes since the clashes broke out. This is BBS News. Thank you for listening and see you in the next videos.